Let's see what Fiona the Frog looks like. <laughs> I like this quite a bit. Do you mind if I... I'm going to stay like this for a while. Hey there, and welcome back. It's time for more Hexcrank Live. This is Cole. Here, continuing, this should be part two of Haunting Ground. Happy to have you here. Last time we woke up in the middle of the castle, found out that our main character's parents are dead, and now there are people chasing after her because of some kind of life force within her, something called Azoth. We defeated our first nemesis, Debilitas, the groundskeeper, who is kind of halfway developed, and now we're going to see what happens next. Okie doke. So, I've already done the boss fight, and Debilitas has run away. I've got the key item. The Saturnus key. Let's go uh, take a look at Debilitas, because you can find him at his shack. Hello, Gorhoff. Welcome. And Zimchuk, hello. Yes, Huey is a good dog. He's begging forgiveness. He didn't know he would have crushed her to death. And I've got a smudged key. Because I'm doing a new game plus, kind of inadvertently, I've got a um, I've got a way to get a kind of a a, a joke ending. Hey there, Zach. Or at least the best ending for all involved. But I forget how to get to the front gate. That's not it. Okay, all the way back around. Cover some stamina here. Okay.
Okay, this is the library, or the music room, something like that. Hey, Andrew. <sighs> Sorry. I've been awake for a long time today. I don't know that I've ever gotten the ending that I'm about to show you. Hello, Jaxie. Oh, that would have been a hiding place, wouldn't it? Fiona doesn't like bugs. So I need to go back to the room where I can make one of the uh, word plates. Hey, Hokusai. This is the bedroom. Yes, it is. Okay. On the one hand, it's nice not to have to always be running from somebody. But it doesn't make for a very exciting stream <laughs> when I'm just running through this massive place unmotivated, just trying to find the next place to go. No, that's not the right way. I think this will be the study. Yeah, that's right. We're going to use the rest plate to get into the turlets.
Hmm. So I'm frustrated. I ordered some new furniture, but the delivery keeps being delayed. Oh, well. Okay. We're going to use this. Told you. Going to the toilet. Kind of a nice bathroom, actually. <laughs> I, I, I didn't realize you could hide in the hide in the tub. Jaxi, how was the uh, Switch version of the remake a ripoff? Was it just the price? Also, hello there, BMAC. Yeah, I'm really certain that I've not done anything, that, that I've not done any of this before. <laughs> Castle Gate Key? Okay, the metal boots are actually going to be really good. Uh, items, metal boots. Kick attack becomes twice as powerful. Hey, yeah. Oh yeah, it's the uh it's the price paying the switch tax. Yeah, 30 bucks for the remake is uh that that is quite a bit. Especially for a game that I own on five other systems. Uh yes, and no thank you to so Resident Evil 0 is the only sensible is the only sensible response. All right. So let's save and then walk out the front door. I can probably save up here and that'll be fine. Hello there, Glucose. Yeah, Nintendo might get me with the Switch version of RE4, though that uh yeah that might just do it thank you precisely jay for uh subscribing i appreciate it let's see is there another door out of here
Oh, and Jaxi gifted a sub to Glucose. Hmm. Okay, now I know where to go. I, I I panicked for a moment. I couldn't remember if I actually shut off that uh that death trap. That would have been really funny. And more people would have more people would have seen that cool death scene. Okay, here we go. The least satisfying good ending ever. with you. <laughs> oh wait, Huey calmed her down enough so she could put the key into the lock. <laughs> so, uh, you can't get that ending on the, uh, on your first playthrough. Uh, you can only get it on your second playthrough if you spare Debilitas. He gives you the key out because nobody, <laughs> nobody higher up than him actually had any, uh, actually, actually had any concern for him being able to do that. So Fiona leaves with Huey and everybody who was trying to har everybody who was trying to harvest her life force <laughs> just got left in the lurch. Like, oh wait, she can just walk out? Well shit. <laughs> Oh, so yeah, I just, I wanted to, I'd never uh, gotten that for myself. I wanted to show it to you as well, especially because out of context, that guy in the wheelchair screaming after her, like, no, nobody said you could just walk out. Um, that was really, yeah, that tickled me. That was a fun little diversion, but we have stuff to do. We have to go and use the Saturnus key and forget that I have the, the key to the front door of this castle. <laughs> um, what is the best way to do this? Okay. 
Okay, I've got to get around to uh, the uh, light reflecting room. Yeah, in the chat, they're talking about the evil within. It's frequently on sale on many systems for, la for like, less than $5. Especially Watch Humble. Uh, it tends to pop up there quite a bit. For as much as I had frustration with it, like, if you go in on casual difficulty, it's not like there is no joy to be had there, especially if you are starved for over-the-shoulder horror shooters. I just, uh, it wouldn't be... It wouldn't be my first choice, but then again, there are not many choices. And now we go one level deeper. Creator said he made me the perfect woman. <laughs> but I cannot taste or experience pleasure or feel pain. Oh, um, thanks for the meal. So yeah, she's been she's she's been poisoned. Hey Ben, welcome. Yeah, I'd be sick too if I ate a meal prepared by somebody who had no sense of taste. And not like aesthetically, like, oh, this person has got no taste, got bad taste, and it's literally incapable of sensing, of sensing taste. Or anything else for that matter. Yeah, I'm having more fun with this when I'm not having to play it in one big 12 hour gasp. Oh, right. Teotastic raises a point. Yeah, she, she, <laughs> Fiona was, was served the remains of her parents. Yeah. If you go and inspect one of the one of the soup bowls, you can uh, 
find a clump of hair inside of it. So yeah, she got the Titus Andronica special. Yes, Daniela is the new chase, is the new uh, pursuer for this uh, part of the game. You didn't run? <laughs> what the story of this game was. Fiona was in a car crash and she woke up in this strange castle where experiments are being done by extracting life force to create artificial life, but also to extend life. Fiona seems to have a lot of this. She also seems to be the inheritor of the castle and everyone who lives here is trying to get at her to harvest. And yes, Daniela's chase music is really good. you get here miss it's cleaning time now it's not chasing time okay So yeah, Daniela is a homunculus. Somebody in the chat, Glucose, said Daniela was giving them homunculus vibes. And 
There is something essential missing from her, and she is seeking Fiona's Azoth to complete herself. There are wrinkles to this because according to the creator, Daniela is in fact not a homunculus, but is an infertile woman who was brainwashed into believing she was. But as far as I can tell, there isn't there isn't evidence of that in the game, so who knows? We're going to take that as a freebie. Uh, yeah. Daniela, if she encounters her reflection, will straight up lose it, as was demonstrated. So that is a way to, uh, that is a way to delay her. Okay, I think I'm trapped. Yeah, that door is sealed off. But there are window wells that you can get into. I think Daniela is sealed away. All oh, right, yeah. This is where you can do some mix-em-ups with uh, the alchemy items that you found. Did I unlock other costumes? Let's see what Fiona the Frog looks like. <laughs> I like this quite a bit. Do you mind if I... I'm going to stay like this for a while. <laughs> Luca says this is canon. Oh yeah, it's like a weird little slot game. Wow, I didn't know it was possible to...
Okay, so that's one way to do that. I can lie to myself all I want to, but there is no de no denying that these are human bones. It's the first time anyone's been on Mammoth in months. Sorry, Mastodon. Shit. I fucked up that joke real good. Huey agrees. Okay, if I have some way to light up that fire. Let's see here. Recreatio. Completely restores lost stamina. Sedatio. Completely, completely calms the player and returns them to a normal state. Somebody knocked that door straight off its hinges. some kind of balcony. Okay, that's a mirror that I can uncover if Daniela gives chase. Remember, if those luminescents hit me, then it makes a loud sound and it puts me into a panic. Uh, no good. Don't want that to happen if I can help it. Uh, Glucose wants to know why exactly does that happen? Uh, I mean, there, there's, there's, there are story reasons and there are gameplay. Oh, fuck. <gasps> I 
It's not a doll, it's a mummy. Again, all these doors to nowhere. Okay, blue flame secret ways. Yeah, story wise, it's just alchemy shit. Um, they seek the Azoth inside of inside of Fiona. Um, and when they hit her, they rupture. Okay, is there any way to lower this? Yo, Huey. Do I have an item that will create flame? Wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, no, that gave me an idea. Hey, you cannot be on my keyboard right now. Okay? You can be on the desk, you just can't be on the keyboard. There we go. Easy enough. <laughs> ben says, cat can't be on the keyboard, huh? Cole runs a pretty tight ship over there. No, I'll just wake up and find that she's been typing gibberish. It might be cat novels or magic spells, I don't know. What is this? their way in there. Not that I can see. Go. Oh, 
Oh. Good boy. All right. Nothing to do, I think. This hallway looks foreboding. Let's see if this door goes anywhere. I love the zipper on the back of the costume. The three spiritual substances. Saltine? What? Is this a Picross? What is this? Salt, sulfur, mercury. Yeah, okay. Cadmium is not one of them. Neither is at stick so. That stick so is always left out. Uh, let's see. What's the other one? Mercury? Alright, glad I stopped there. I can avoid it. <laughs> if I can av if I can avoid the crazy carousel room. Again, the similarly nearly useless map. All right, I don't think I, mm, I don't think I can avoid going around the, uh, or going through the uh, carousel room. Oof. Uh. I agree, Huey. Oh, damn it. Okay, I think that that is just a, uh, it is a key for people who don't know how to do pit crosses. Ah, oh, fuck. 
Here she comes. Into the, I open the mirror. Stand and scream. See that? under the... Nope. Okay, let's see. Come on. Is she off my tail, or... just kind of temporarily not here? Did I just get too far away from her? Uh-oh! Ooh. Fiona. Oh, jeez. <laughs> uh -uh. Yeah, you really can't control her when she's like that. Okay, where is she going? Oh. All right, I think I I think I shook her. Frog girl makes good. All right, 
let's try and get down where she found me. That room with all the dragons in it seemed important. Citation video games. Will this take me? Oh, cool, the save room. Shortcut unlocked. At the risk of saving too much, that seems important, so I'm going to, uh, Oh. Okay, the right path leads to the truth, whilst the left path leads to deception. When the shroud of deception is lifted, the fog will fade and the hidden path will make itself known. O oh, ye faithful flock, right the wrongs. If three truths exist, it must be so that three lies also exist. While well, I have that luminescent on my tail. I'm going to drag that in and have it light this uh, lantern. Ooh, a movie film reel. Okay, that has the mercury symbol on it. Here's where we keep the fire. What's this say? Dearest Fiona, I write this in hopes that you have made it this far. Speak the proper words to the three-headed dragon personifying fire. Doing so will calm the blazing flames which incinerate all and show you the way. Quiet, Greta. The words themselves are the name of spiritual essence. It is what we call so and so. Jump through the fire. It's like you won't even do anything for me. Okay. I possibly need to come back later.
Oh, uh oh. Again. It's like I uncovered that mirror for no reason. Uh. <laughs> Fiona, you call that running? Fiona? Fiona, you call that running? <laughs> when she crouches, she uh, does so in a froggy position. Ugh. I know I can hide under that couch. I just have to get the right distance from her. Give me the all <laughs> give me the all clear, please. Thank God. I'm going to choose to ignore that laugh. I'm going to have her take the... I'm going to change out of the... Um, change out of the frog... The frog costume. When I get back there. Get back to the alchemy hole. Hi there, Jake. <laughs> Yay. Good toss.
Okay, the grand refining process can also yield, yield several precarious items as well. Carbo depletes a small amount of stamina. Negrid depletes a large amount of stamina. So avoid carbs. Yeah, I should start using some of those items because those magnesia things that I'm picking up, those can act like landmines that uh that delay my pursuers. Yep, let's send Huey up. Go, Huey. Come on. No oh, wait. Can Huey follow me? Well, why do I care if this thing stays up? Oh, good. Back toward the beginning. Um, I'm gonna go back there and change out of the frog costume. Somebody who just tunes in with no context would be very confused. And rightfully so. You know, it's fun for jokes, though. So how is everybody doing today? I myself am doing fine. I'm immersing myself in all things Tetris while also helping my parents move. The move's going fine. I'm just, uh... trying to convince... Uh, I don't know. I'm not trying very hard, because if I tried hard, I could probably get them to do it, but, like, they have a, they have an instinct to, like, oh, we're, we, we're going to move a bunch of stuff in our cars, and it's like, hey, you're, you're hiring movers. <laughs> like, you can, you can have them move things. <laughs> oh, you know. Ben has started playing Slay the Spire. I always see people on my friends list playing Slay the Spire. That's the uh, deck building card game, right? <laughs> yes, a roguelike deck builder. Yeah, I'll be curious to talk with you more on Monday about that. I've never actually, like, looked at gameplay. I always figured it would be... I mean, I've seen enough people go crazy town banana pants over it. And I believe... I believe said people that slay the pot... Slay the... Slay the spire is good. Hey, Ben. <laughs> My, we haven't announced that yet. We will when it comes. But yeah, we will soon. Uh, 
Ah, fuck. Damn it. How'd she get up here? Oh, oh no! It won't let me descend. Uh, I like how she does uh, an invasion of the body snatchers point. <laughs> she politely waits for me to get both hands on the door. Oh, jeez. Um. God damn it! No. <laughs> Just. <laughs> Trips and falls. Um. Yeah, this is, um, yeah, now and she falls, and down I go. She's fine. Okay, so <laughs> maybe I will wait until a better time to take off the frog costume. Yeah, no, uh, Daniela was straight up cutting, cutting into cutting into Fiona. Um, ooh. Glucose is down to pretty atrocious Smirnoff screwdriver. And also a Colt 45. Man, it's been forever since I've had malt liquor like that. What is this? What was that? Oh, just another alchemy? Another alchemy thing? <laughs> Jaxie, oh man, did I miss beverage chat in my absence? No, no, I'm I'm still having I, I'm still having gin and tonics like I was yesterday. Um, yeah, I oh, man, I never so I I, I did do cold forty five because I think that was de rigueur. Um, my, my malt liquor of choice was, uh, was Old English 800. I hear you. Do you just want head scratches? I gave you so many treats today. What more do you want from me?
Hmm. Did I lock myself in here? Um... Am I supposed to see bugs? Eat them with your tongue! Eat them with your tongue! <laughs> oh, so I guess the implication is that those bugs kind of render you into those wax figurines. So let's book it back there. I can't remember if I was in the room of the room of truth or the room of deception. Hey Huey. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. The right path leads to truth, the left, the left path leads to deception. So I need to go in here, examine things, and see what is wrong. Hey there, Knife. So yeah, I don't want to examine these things more closely, but I'm going to take a picture with my phone. there. One is crouching. Here's some kind of still or refinery. Absolutely do not inspect anything closely <laughs> if you don't have to. That's when the bugs come. Okay, let's go see what the Room of Lies is like.
What's the comment that she has? Oh. I'm just gonna let her... I'm just gonna let her be. Oh, that's absolutely wrong. Yeah, the hourglass is different. Um, I am not going to mess with the kiln at all. The still looks the same. Okay, these are different. The position is switched. The crouching one was inside that little half pillar, and the other one was reaching out. Uh, that looks the same. Uh, let me compare here. Yeah, that's different. Yeah, butterflies up top. Okay, I think I have the three things that are wrong. So let's go back over. And they mentioned three, three truths, three lies, etc. Um, okay, so I can examine this. Uh, the other one was these dummies. Quote, dummies. Oh, hey. We have some teachers in the chat. is different. I'm uncomfortable. Traces that suggest this person was heavily tortured. Let's leave it be for right now. Oh, that absolutely seems like a trap. We just step in here. Yeah, remind me not to hide in there when Daniela is coming.
Okay. Hey there, Komi Koo. Komi Koo says she's coming. Did I... Did I summon her by... Sloth from seven. Sloth from seven. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. <laughs> what did I get? What did I get from him? He's probably I think he's tied to the uh to the plates here. Fire is essentially composed of hotness and dryness. Air differs only from fire in that it is formed of moistness. So hotness and moistness. Earth and fire are without a doubt both in possession of dryness. Water differs from air in the fact that it does not contain heat. Coldness is the component that separates fire from earth, yet it is dryness that separates that same earth from water. And so by linking these four elements together, it is said that the fundamental carena aurea or alchemic bond is formed, that which binds the flesh and spirit together for an infinitum. Okay, so... I think this is dryness. This is moistness. Okay, I'm gonna write this down. hot yellow is dry blue is moist green is cold Okay, so let's try some of these. The first one that it laid out was fire. So that would be yellow and red. Come on. Come on. Come on. <laughs> hey. No. Come on. Come on. Will, will you stand on the Come on. Good boy. 
Come on. I need to reset this. Go, Huey. Go, Huey. <laughs> Sit. think that's a good thing I I honestly don't know okay so it talked about those elements combining or binding spirit to flesh I think I just exercised them Intense. Venus key. Okay. Let us go. Yes, you can hide in the Iron Maiden, but I'm not going to because I, I have a distinct recollection of Daniela um, straight up murdering me with spikes. <laughs> Let's, uh, let's save, why don't we? Okay, um, I have the Venus key. Will that let me open up the door in the in the dragon room? I am uncertain. Yeah, no, this is a this is another death trap. <laughs> Our good friend the Mandragora. I think if you pull the wrong, if you pull the wrong flower, 
Um, Daniela comes. Let's see what this says. In order to procure the large quantity of blood required to complete the grand process. Oh man, I love the grand process. A fusion of plant and animal known as the Floranamalia was created. It was originally derived from a secret formula and named the Mandragora. Multiple plant types were fused in an attempt to create the Mandragora, but only the combination of the Habel seemed to possess a similar liquid composition. In current research, our subjects are nearly identical to the real Mandragora. Flower color and an ever so faint difference in smell is the only way to tell the original apart from the substitute. Caution must be exercised. If the mandra is ever uprooted, if the mandragora is ever uprooted and has two powerful defense mechanisms, it emits a loud ear rupturing shriek and can paralyze its attacker with poisonous leaves. If the situation becomes too dangerous, one should quickly throw away the mandragora and get out of harm's way. is the right one. Oh, here she comes. Yep, no. Um. Okay, so something that is interesting. Uh, no, no, down I go. Something that is interesting about Daniela as a pursuer is uh, is that she closes doors behind her. I think that you can dissuade her from doing that by, um, or you can take away her ability to do that by uh, activating her when she's in the Room of Lies, and then she starts coming after you with a fireplace poker. Um, and then she stops. Oh, damn it. Yeah, um, shit, that Mandragora is... It constantly screams and puts me into a panic. All right, Ross, what's your end game here? <laughs> Gluco says, my God, this chick is a bumper car.
Okay, let's try and put as much distance between us and her as possible. This is different and new. No, 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 no. Here she comes. Uh, it's going so well. Huey's in bad shape. Are these made of horses? Yeah, no, the, the horses are horses. Of courses. Oh! Hi, Daniela! <laughs> you, uh... You sure know how to teleport around, don't you? Okay, so stuff has changed since I... Stuff has changed since I messed around with the truth and lie rooms. Such as this. Good. God damn it, more luminescence. Fuck. Okay, I'm going to draw it through and then hopefully juke around it and then lock it inside. I hate those things. <laughs> Close the door. Close the goddamn door. Fuck's sake. Dead spirit craving for life, crawling back from the underworld. Sip of the fresh flowing lifeblood. When your thirst is quenched, return to the darkness from whence you came. Okay, something about those mandragoras generating blood. Hello, friend.
I don't think that mandragora likes being eaten. Okay, before I go down, I want to examine more of this. Jaxi asks, um, after I saw that other Daniela, the, not the one chasing me, but the one who uh, was cleaning in the penned off area, if it's the same person or just, or if it's the same person or a bunch of constructs. Um, I believe it's the same person. She's just, uh, you know, good at what she does. Okay, so it is the same person's grave, but with different birth and death dates on it. Aorilus Belly. Okay. The Golem sacrifice must be offered to the ever-burning wall of Hades that hinders your quest. Shepherd the beast to the land of Meth by etching your will into a string of letter-based commands. The primitive golem follows but two commands. In the simplest of terms, they are the letter L moves the beast left, the letter R moves it right. The four-letter combination of R, 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 R will open the path to the small garden. Um, so I think this is the mouth of a maze. <laughs> Not the land of math. Not even once, my dude. Okay, there are lots of places. <laughs> Jake says, wearing a frog suit isn't normal, but on meth it is. All this reminds me that it's been far too long since I've watched Breaking Bad. Let's see. Hey, baby. Hi. What'd you see out there? What'd you see out the window, huh? Sorry, I got distracted. Okay, so... Let's try doing this based on the instructions. See what it does. Okay, so that's the first right.
This is the second right. Third right. And then fourth right. I wonder what happens if I just do three R's, if he just goes straight through the, uh... mind the background noise I am just refreshing my beverage Okay, so it seems that if there's no, if there's, <laughs> if there's no specific instructions, so I passed that left there. Okay, so it took three rights, and then it just kind of continues going. Knife Nine says they only have one good into the breach run per day. That's fine. I I reach a point of diminishing returns on that game. One moment. I need to respond to my mother. Okay, I don't think the... Yeah, this doesn't seem like the way forward. Must be cooking an animal's carcass. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... I'm selling I'm selling some chairs and two people already responded. When I say I'm selling, I mean my mom spends all of spends a good amount a good amount of time on the Facebook uh the Facebook marketplace. And I had her list them. Okay. Uh let's see here. What do I need to do? So we're gonna go up here and go right. Right. If I go left, it goes in here. What's down here? This seems like a lot. Let's try the right, right, left.
Okay, and I think there were just two more rights for the other one. Let's do that. This game has good puzzles. I enjoy them. I have a couple of places to go. Let's see what's down the far path and then do the near path. Is that pressurized enough to have angler fish? Why is that the most unbelievable thing I've seen? Can I super bomb this pathway? No, nothing. Cathedral Secrets. A book written by Fricanelli. It describes some of the archaic alchemistic symbols that line the walls of the Notre Dame Cathedral. chat they're talking about all of these history history requirements they have in the eighth grade i remember in the eighth grade in rural ohio our uh <laughs> our history textbook about like the american revolution and stuff was told like in this really bad kind of comic strip kind of form so instead of just you know <laughs> Instead of just re reading the actual interesting ass story of our uh, our nation's founding, no, it was like a comic with with uh, Jefferson and everybody. It was real bad. It actively got in the way. Ooh, Wiseman's crafts. 
Nikolai Frammel. So I can use this. I can't use this here. Let's see here. One empty shelf. Okay. <laughs> Comey says, this house looks like a police office. Let's see. Ooh, all of these are written by Agrippa. I cut off his head in another game last year. Huey, you're blocking the way. Oh, no! Oh, I'm so sorry. Good boy. Good boy. That was not good. And this must be the Agrippa book. I wonder why they put a save point in here. I think that completes the pathway. these mannequins or dummies or what have you. filmed Debilitas carrying me into the into the meat cellar and yeah, no, this place was rigged for sound as Fiona was getting dressed creepy what in the world Wait, this is different. Wait, what's the combo there? Enhance. Zoom. Enhance. Wait, let me write that down. Vertical line. Okay. Hey, Chazerific. Uh, no, I did not finish. I did not finish Darkwood. Being filmed. Uh. Who's there? Hi. Were you there the whole time? <laughs>
<laughs> Jake says it ain't easy being Why green. Are you after me? What do you want? Don't ask questions you don't want to know the answer to. Azoth. Azoth? Azoth. Essence of life. Of life. Of war. War. Woman, woman. Ah, she's Jacob's laddering. Um, fuck. Really? What was on the ground up there? Okay, I think this is a safe space. up here then. Uh, what? I hear you, Huey. Appears to be some kind of modern ish operating room. I like replaying these games once every four to five years because I remember just enough to not be terrible, but I forget just enough to still be surprised. Crunk. Yeah, I've I've straight up just not gone back to change out of the frog costume. Okay, synthesizer. By separating the platinum half piece and then synthesizing it with the sacred white, a new spiritually infused substance is born. The path you are walking is ever so dangerous. However, if you don't want the sacred white to be fouled by blood, then you should give up the grand process here.
I do enjoy how the fact that the uh, save spots are clocks. A, it's a callback to Clock Tower. B, you always know when you're in a save room without uh, a strict musical cue. If you hear the ticking and the talking, you know what's up. Okay. Let's see. I think it went vertical line, blank, and then this. Yeah. Shit, did I... I think I may have drained the... Sweet. I drained the way out of here. Okay, so I think that I'd get shot up real good. Let's see if Huey... Go, Huey. <laughs> hey, Huey, you can't, uh... Yeah, he didn't really walk a... Come on. What appeared to be a safe path. So let's try it again. What did he do? Go, Huey. Hey, Darren. Go, Huey. It's going okay. Dressed up like a frog. Man, I didn't even think about the Nazi. Yeah, I wish, I wish Nazis didn't co-opt frogs. Also, I wish Nazis weren't Nazis. Fuck. Uh, this is probably bad. Um, okay. Come on. <laughs> Glicka says, this just in, Cole is a Pepe streamer. No! Go, Huey. Okay, I think it was... Okay. <laughs> Hell of a way to find out one of my faves is a problematic bachelor. I do run with the squad. Two clocks? No, I, I, <laughs> the main character should not be a frog. I unlocked the joke costume and it's been too dangerous for me to go back and change. So, yeah. We're rolling with it. It's fine. It's like that time I dressed up like a strawberry and waited for a girlfriend in a hot tub full of cream. Wait, no, that wasn't for her. That was just for me. Um, let's 
feels like a boss. Feels like a boss is coming up. Hey girl, what's up? If I pet her, she goes away. Okay, Danielle's coming. This kills me. She's fine. She's she is she's fine. Lovingly rendered tongue. these globes. Uh-oh. Scream. Her scream does it to you. Uh... Fuck. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
<laughs> she falls over like somebody shot a timber. Okay. Okay. How much time do I have? Doesn't seem like a lot. Thank you, Huey. You're a good dog. Okay, um, let me open up my menu. Yeah, I have lots of lavender. I should use that. Okay, she seems to be listing to one side. No. <laughs> yeah. The way she falls over will never not be funny. Okay, this green one seems to be the longest, so let's... some chamomile but I have no oh wait here we go yeah okay <gasps> whoa she threw him across the room okay one more oh one more <laughs> Again, it will never stop being funny. Okay. 
That's right, walk on. Come on, follow me. And she screams so loud, the dome ceiling collapses. Komiku raises a good point. Devil may cry. She gets DMC'd. I think you've played this game before, Komiku. I can't believe things have gotten this out of hand. <laughs> that was so gradual, I didn't notice when things were out of control. <laughs> well, anyway. Cool. Well, um, with that boss down, I think that calls tonight's session to an end. It's been about two and a half hours. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. Like I said yesterday, if you want to watch some newer horror games, I have uploaded another of my series of, Hex of Hexcrank First Hours. Uh, the most recent episode is about layers of fear too i did the first hour of that go over to youtube.com slash tv that's where also where you find the archives of these streams lightly edited of course otherwise though i'll be back i plan to finish this next weekend jumi lazul asks do you have plans to continue with pathologic 2 possibly i don't know I want to play more of it, but uh, I need to find a way to fit it in. Real curious about it, though, especially with those um, difficulty sliders they added. All right. Well, take care, everybody. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next time. Good night.